we are going to discuss atoms, molecules, and ions. Now, all these particles are classified as matter. And matter is defined as any substance that has mass and occupies space. So, matter is made up of atoms, molecules, and ions. In this video, we are going to just get the basic understanding of atoms, molecules, and ions. So, what is an atom? An atom is that smallest component of an element which is involved in a chemical reaction. It is the smallest unit of ordinary matter that forms a chemical element and has the characteristic properties of that element. So, an atom of an element will behave like the element. Atoms of different elements have various shapes. So in this video, we're not going to talk about the shapes of elements because this is a basic introduction into what atoms, molecules, and ions are. Next up, we're going to talk about molecules. A molecule is that smallest particle of a substance that is capable of independent existence while retaining the chemical properties of that substance. So a molecule can exist on its own and still maintain the chemical properties of the element. A molecule is made when two or more atoms are chemically joined together. So you can see that a molecule is the addition of two atoms and they can either be the same atom or different atoms. When atoms of the same type combine, they produce a molecule of an element. Examples are hydrogen molecule, that is H2, oxygen molecule, O2, nitrogen molecule, N2, and chlorine molecule, Cl2. While the combination of different types of atoms produce molecules of a compound. We have talked about, we have defined compounds before, so if you haven't, if you still have issues on definitions or you still have trouble understanding compounds, make sure to check out our video on compounds. Now, examples of said compounds are sodium chloride, which is gotten by the combination of a sodium atom and a chlorine atom. Calcium chloride, which is gotten by the combination of a calcium atom and a molecule of chlorine atom. Hydrogen chloride, which is gotten by combining hydrogen and chlorine. And other examples. Molecules are the smallest amounts in which any substance can exist without losing its identity. What this means is when you want to write an element or write a compound, in what way do you write it to make us know what element you're talking about? So if you are to write hydrogen, how do you write hydrogen? You write hydrogen as H2. When you want to write oxygen, you write oxygen as O2. So these are just simple examples of how of, of molecules and how they are the smallest amount in which any substance can exist. Ions. Ions are any atom or group of atoms which possess an electric charge. Now that charge can either be positive or negative. So there are two types of ions. The positively charged ions, also called cations. Examples are potassium ion, sodium ion, calcium ion, ammonium ion. The negatively charged ions or anions. Examples are hydroxide ion, chloride ion and oxygen ion. Ions are produced when atoms gain or lose electrons. When, atom, when an atom loses an electron, it becomes 
a cation that means it becomes positively charged example sodium when sodium loses an electron it becomes sodium to the power of one because it loses one electron when sulfur gains an electron it becomes sulfur two minus because it gains two electrons so when an atom gains an electron it becomes negatively charged when an atom loses an electron it becomes positively charged a cation 